Hi, today we are going to talk about the spinal fusion, various forms of spinal fusion, the indication, the technique of spinal fusion. Uh, my name is Dr. Kerman Agaev, I'm a neurosurgeon, I practice in Istanbul, Turkey. So, what is spinal fusion and how we define it? Spinal fusion is coming from the word fusion, which is mean connecting two pieces together. And it's a procedure that actually takes away motion of some segment of the spine. So let's say we have two adjacent bones here, the lumbar spine, and we have motion there. The spine is a mobile structure. You can bend it back and forth. You can uh, rotate it, twist it. You can bend it sidewards. And uh, that's how we got the, our spines mobile. But there might be cases when we want to restrict this motion, when we want particular joint in between two bones to get frozen, not move at all. And for that reason, we employ a technique called spinal fusion. And um, why would we need it? Why would we need specifically go and restrict motion in some segments? Usually, usually spinal fusion is performed for some form of instability in the spine. So the spine is a very tough structure it provides support to our body. It um, protects the spinal cord and the nerves that run inside the canal. At the same time, it provides mobility. However, in some cases, let's say during trauma, if the, the bones are fractured, the spine becomes unstable. And for that reason, we might need to go and artificially increase the tightness of spine by putting screws, bolts, I mean, all the kind of devices that we have available. And that procedure is called spinal fusion. The other reason for doing spinal fusion is uh, treating the degenerative spine. So in some cases, when we have disc herniation, um, uh, the surgeon might need to go and remove this herniation and if there is instability because of the removal of the disc he or she may want to do the spinal fusion. Spinal fusion for disc herniation is most frequently performed in the cervical area, in the neck area. In the lumbar area usually discectomy is done first and the spinal fusion is reserved for recurrent cases or other cases. In some cases, spinal fusion may be performed for the slippage of the vertebra, the condition we call spondylolisthesis, when two vertebra are mobile regarding to each other. There might be various reasons for that, but nevertheless, if these two vertebrae, if these two bones are too mobile and the upper vertebra slips over the lower one, causing symptoms for the patient, so we can do spinal fusion. One reason for spinal fusion would be scoliosis or kyphosis, the term we use collectively to define spinal deformity when the shape of spine is changed. So instead of the spine being straight, when you're looking from forward, the spine may have crooked appearance like a snake, or if you look from, uh, from the side, so the patient may have kyphosis bending forward. In that case, in order to correct the spine, uh, we might need to do spinal fusion. We might need to do some screws and bolts and then straighten the spine or get rid of these extra curves in spine. In this session, we're going to talk about the surgery for spinal fusion and different techniques. So, uh, spinal fusion is performed uh, from different approaches. We may basically approach spine um, from the front, from the back, or from the side. There are three main approaches to spine. And 
Here, in this particular case, I have lumbar spine, which is our lower back, and all three approaches are actually feasible or possible for spinal fusion in lumbar spine. When we do anterior approach and we do interbody fusion, so between the vertebral bodies, we approach the spine from the front. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit um, tougher to approach the spine from the front because we have big vessels like aorta or inferior vena cava in front of the spine, so we need to retract them to approach the spine from the front. The other way of approaching spine would be from the back, but the problem there is the presence of the nerves and in upper cases, in upper um, levels, we have spinal cord itself. So to approach the disc space in between the vertebral bodies, we need to work in between the nerves, and that nerves may be damaged. Another approach would be coming from the side. It's an um, old approach, but recently has gained uh, popularity. Um, so coming from the side uh, has its own advantages and disadvantages. One of the biggest disadvantages would be the presence of the big muscle here, we call it psoas muscle, and the nerves running in that muscle. So if we're not careful, we may damage those nerves during our approach, um, during our approach. Also, the type of approach that we use for spinal fusion depend on what we're going to do, what kind of surgery exactly we are performing. Um, let's say we're doing interbody fusion, let's say we restricting one or a couple of levels. Okay, for that reason, I mean, we can come from posterior, from back, and do posterior interbody fusion. But let's say if we have a big tumor, big mass in spine, we will need to remove it. And by removal it, we know that spine is going to be unstable, so we will need to stabilize the, the, the spine. So for that reason, obviously, when we're dealing with the bigger tumors and we want to remove it you know, fully and in the best way, in, 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 in one piece, we would obviously approach it either from the side or from the front. When it comes to spinal fusion later on, we can do um, stabilization or fusion from the front or from the back or combined. Okay? When we are dealing with the neck, with a cervical spine, usually, usually spinal fusion is performed either from the front or from the back. Okay? Side approach, lateral approach to spine is not used. So in the most in the vast majority of cases, the spine in the cervical spine is approached from the front. Uh, some people do a posterior approach or back approach is also feasible, also possible. It has its own indications, but usually, usually for disc herniation, for tumors and for various reasons we do approach from the front. When it comes to thoracic spine, our lower portion, portion between the neck and back, and lower back, we can do approach either from the back or from the side. Uh, we cannot approach from the front because of the organs like heart, like lungs, and, and the obstacles on the way. So we, we approach either from the side or from the back. Thank you for watching this video regarding spinal fusion. Obviously, you can always find more information on our website.